Let me help you understand the enemy. And let me assure you that absolutely nothing that I'm going to tell you is exaggerated, is interpolated, or is imagined. Everything I'm going to tell you is documented. And it's, a great deal of it is documented on my website, which is www.healthfreedomusa.com one word, healthfreedomusa.org. And so they created a trade commission. That's a very important pair of words, a trade commission called the Codex Alimentarius Commission. It is not a public health commission. It is not a consumer protection commission. It is a trade commission. Now, Codex Alimentarius Commission is administered by the World Health Organization, WHO, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. They fund Codex and they run it at the request of the UN. In 1994, Codex, with no notice here in this country whatsoever, declared nutrients, put on your intellectual seatbelts, declared nutrients to be toxins. They're poisons dangerous industrial poisons. As poisons, we have to be protected from them. What we're talking about is waking up one morning and being very surprised to find that high potency, therapeutically effective, clinically significant nutrients are now illegal in the way that heroin is illegal. Not available with a prescription, illegal. Every animal used for food on the planet, whether it has fins, feet, or feathers, every animal on the planet must be treated with subclinical antibiotics. Must be treated with subclinical antibiotics and must be treated with exogenous growth hormones. Codex requires, mandates, that all food be irradiated unless it's eaten locally and raw. All food, including organic food, of course. So is it organic afterwards? Go to Codex Alimentarius, do a Google search, and look, you know, there are drop-down menus at the top of the official Codex page. Look at the toxins and the veterinary chemicals and the levels that are set. They are terrifying. In 2001, 176 countries, including the United States, got together and they said there are 12 really bad organic chemicals. They're called POPs, Persistent Organic Pollutants. There are a lot of them, but there are 12 that are so bad that nobody could disagree that those 12 POPs had to be banned worldwide. Codex has brought back seven, seven of the nine forbidden POPs that 176 countries banned worldwide. Dieldrin, Aldrin, hexachlorobenzene, and the food that is imported from other countries that contains these substances cannot be stopped at our borders because otherwise it would be, God forbid, a trade violation. That's how Codex works. In the WHO-FAO projections, the epidemiological projections, they estimate, not I, they estimate, they're the experts, that just the vitamin and mineral guideline alone, when it goes into global implementation, on December 31st, 2009, will result in a minimum of three billion, that's B, bad, big, billion deaths. One billion through simple starvation. Those folks who die are not particularly economically successful from the point of view of the corporations. But the next two billion, they will die from the preventable diseases of undernutrition. 
Who will live? Probably those people who are wealthy enough and powerful enough to have their own pushers of clean food and nutrients. That's who will live. You and I? Probably not. Our children? Probably not. Our grandchildren?